What's up, y'all? Story time, all right? So, uh, I was out door dashing, you know. I got an order. I go towards the order to pick up. And, um, uh, Oh, before that, a previous order, I was coming over a bridge, and I ran over something. I, you know, I was like, oh, whatever. So, I ain't paying no mind. So, I go back over here, down 45 a little bit. So, I'm going towards the order. I get a message saying uh, the order has been canceled, which was the first time that ever happened to me so <clears throat> i'm turning around i look at my car and my tire pressure comes on and it said five so i'm like man hold on five you know my pressure always be on so i'll be like whatever i'll, I'll put some air in it later Five, I ain't playing with no five, hey, I pull over, I, I need to look. Man, my, my, my tire flat, man. I'm like, man, let me go and get down here where stuff is open. So if I need to change my tire or something, and I need some assistance, cause I ain't got no jack in my car, which was my fault. I should've just put a jack in my car, but I didn't. For whatever reason which i won't make it again but so i'm getting down here so i'm riding down i'm like man i probably i'm trying to get to this store where i know the police be hanging it and i'm like man i asked one of the laws man hey, can y'all give me a jack i need a jack man help me out so i can put my spear on and i can go back to dropping these orders off so, uh, man, I finally got down that way. And, man, by the time, by the time I got there, my tire was towed up. So, the laws, they were nowhere to be found this night. Because the night before, boy, them boys was just posted up. And I'm, I'm, I'm steady driving by them. I'm surprised they ain't like, man, that car had them been driving by here all night. I'm, I'm steady dropping loads out, woo, 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 woo. So they they wasn't there this, tonight. They they was they was harassing folks tonight, but uh man, um so I'm sitting there, I'm asking people, they pulling up. Hey uh, you got a jack? You got a jack? You got a jack? Man, I probably asked 20 people. They ain't got no jack. Or they say they ain't got no jack. I got a couple. I don't speak English and no, no, no. It was one guy who actually looked to see if he had a jack. I man, appreciate you for even looking, bro. So I wasn't even really tripping because I've been talking to God and I've been asking him to help me be more appreciative and more patient and um things like that so i took this opportunity as a, 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 a tour for me to um exercise these muscles um patience so i'm exercising so i wasn't even mad you know i was just like man i'm just glad that I got to this location. I'm able to ask somebody for a, a, a jack. Um, I have a spare. I'm safe. I wasn't harmed. You know, so I'm just looking at the glass half full. And I'm just sitting there asking people probably for a good hour. And... Uh... 
I walk to go. I, I see a truck. I see a truck a dude over here by 45 minutes. So I walk over there. I asked him. He like, man, I ain't got no four way. He said I could jack you up, but I ain't got no four way. So I'm like, all right, man, appreciate it. So some told me, man, call State Farm and see if you got um, roadside assistance. So I called them. I said, yeah. They said, yeah, I got roadside assistance. I'm like. <laughs> I wish I would have known that last time, but anyway. So while I'm talking to roadside assistants, they like, all right, well, we're going to send them over. Um, this dude had parked next to me earlier. I seen his light off. I told him his light was out. But he had a, a SUV, so I wasn't asking him for a jack because, you know, SUV jacks are, are big, and, and I got a small car, so... I knew his jack wouldn't have been able to get under there. Or so what I thought. Okay, so. Man, I done got to the point where I, I done got in my passenger side and kicked my foot up. I, I didn't, I didn't uh, kick my foot up. I'm, I'm over here reading my Bible a little bit. And uh, the dude that pulled up, he had pulled up to the gas pump and he was over there talking to somebody else um he walked up and he was like oh bro you need some help i was like man your jack too big for my car he like man i'm gonna go drop my baby mama off and i'm gonna come right back but i'm on the phone with um um roadside so i'm i'm like you got a jack he like, yeah, I got a jack. But let me go drop my baby mama off about five minutes. I'm like, man, I'm like, man, whatever. I already know the game. So Roadside said, so Roadside said I'll be there about 30, 40 minutes. So, so my boy pulled back up. Five minutes later. Man. Let me tell you. First, I'm gonna tell you my prayers to God. I, I pray on a regular basis that I am a vessel and I'm used for the glory of God to send me people to minister to and to to send to Him. Let me be the the the, the candle that lights up the room or the city that's on top of the hill that's lighting up the whole area. Okay, so let me tell you what this dude done did. So he got the big jack. He can't get it under where the usually where people put the jack at. So he he over here. I'm over here looking at him like, man. I I've never seen nobody use a big jack and jack up a big uh, a small car. But he taught me. I said, boy, you taught me something today. So he got, he jacked, he put the jack under the car, got a couple um, bricks, put it under the car, took the jack back, and then jacked the car back up some more in a different area so it can get higher. Got the tie off. Mind you, he doing all the work. So make a long story short, we chopping it up, we talking. Young, he 21 telling me about his life and stuff so uh by the time he got the tire on roadside assistant barely pulling up like we got it we good so i'm like man i try to pay him he ain't want to take the money and it was just it, it reminded me of, of what I do to people. You know, like when I do something, I don't, I don't want to be paid for it. That's not why I'm doing it. Don't, I don't want no money. So, it was just, it was just so funny, man. I can't even explain it now. I can't even put into words how God has set this whole whole thing up and he was like man i wasn't even gonna come to this store 
and and um man and um but my baby mama wants to come to the store or whatever and um I just started talking to him about God and God is good man before I started this story it was going to be better than this but God no God no I just can't articulate the words properly so it was just I'm just so glad that I know the angels in heaven are, are rejoicing right now because he didn't have to do that like he came and asked me I, I do that to people all the time I see people broke down and I go ask hey you need some help can, what, what you need can I help you you all right I don't do it for recognition you know I don't go telling people I did something today I just do it and I don't even tell my wife I didn't push somebody out the street and nobody else ever know because I don't talk about it like it's not why I do it if I see somebody in need man I feel I should help them because you should love your neighbor as you love thyself and I was prepared to sit there for a few hours or whatever. I went tripping. But it was just the Holy Spirit was, I was filled with the Holy Spirit. Like I was getting goosebumps while I was talking to him because I knew that this was a divine setting. This was a divine meeting that I've been praying for and it just happened when it happened. So I just wanted to give praise to the Lord, man. Like, thank you for having my tire blow out. Like, that's where I'm at right now in life. Like, things that aren't what people would deem as positive are positive to me. Now, the devil's going to come at me, man. The devil's going to load up. He's going to bring them big boys for me now because... I'm playing games with, I'm playing games. I'm, I'm, I'm singing, I'm seeking souls, man, for the Lord, man. This is for the Lord's glory and not mine. I never want to be puffed up with knowledge. I never want to be acting like I'm holier than thou or I'm better than anybody or I'm doing anything. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just a vessel. I'm not, I'm not. I don't have that in me, man. I'm a sinner. I'm I'm flesh and blood. I'm flesh and bone, man. I'm I'm nothing without the Lord. That is who gets all the glory. The Father, not me. I don't want it. I just want. I, I just feel good when the Father says, "I'm gonna use you to do my will." That makes me feel like I'm being used in the right way because if the father don't use me then the devil's going to use me by default so I'd rather be used by the father my creator than the enemy God is good man Everything happens for a reason. And it's funny because he had that tattoo across his forearm. Because <laughs> I told him everything happens for a reason. And he showed me his tattoo. Yeah, man. So. And I was thinking when, I, when my car had, when I was sitting there and I was just like. I wasn't mad or I wasn't even annoyed or nothing. I was just like, man, I I sure wanted to hit my quota, but whatever, you know, it is what it is. I hit over my quota the last two days, so this will make up 
I mean, I, I'm good anyway. Even if I wasn't good, I'd still be good. It was just... It was just cool, man. It's just cool. I like to talk about God, man. I talked about so much other stuff in my life that had no meaning and what 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 better what better thing to talk about and talk with people and help them come back to God and get a better relationship with God. What's better than that? This body, this flesh and blood, the flesh and bones, it's gonna pass away. It's actually passing, passing away from the time you was birthed. And, but once you die, your spirit, which what you really are, you're not a body, you're a spirit. You're gonna go to the lake of fire, you're gonna go to heaven. And there's mansions in heaven. And your rewards in heaven are accordingly to the, your works on earth. But I want I, I want a big house. Not because I want a big house. I just want to do what God want me to do. I don't even, even if I don't get anything in return, I don't care. Like, I just want to spread the news. I want to help people. I want to be used to help people. Have that relationship with God. Why? Well, he created me. Sent Jesus to die for me? Man, if you sit there and really think, like, if you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and really absorb, like, Jesus was so much of love. And he died for me, for, for all my flaws and all my disgrace. And he took that up. He took that. He said, here, give me this trash out of you and let me take it, absorb it. And let me take, I'm going to take your punishment. Here, give me that. So, I don't even know why myself, like, how could I live a life the way that I live my life in younger years or, or, or past tense? And, 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 and really, some, I, I'm not perfect. So, how can I not appreciate that when, when, when God has done so much for us, for me, and speak for myself? Well, he's done so much for me. Man. So I, 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 so I don't look at people crazy, but I just be like wondering like, well, I, I know this, everybody has their own time. So I, when people make excuses or You can't give God a little bit of time? Man, just a little bit, man. Because you don't never know when grace will run out. You watching this video, you got grace. You're still living. You have time to say, I'm sorry. I confess that I did this. I'm going to repent. I'm turning turn away from my sins. Because they, they're, they're, I don't know. I don't know it all. I'm not going to sit here and say I know it all. Some people believe once saved, always saved. 
Some people believe you can lose your salvation. Honestly, I don't know. But I tell you one thing, I don't want to find out the hard way either. So I'm at the point in my life where I'm like, man, I'm trying to make sure if 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 it ain't once say, I always say that I'm got myself in check. I got myself right. So I, I'm trying to do good. I'm trying to do right. Hey, God, Jesus say, go preach the gospel. I'm preaching the gospel. Hey, y'all can look at me and laugh at me. I don't care. I'll be around here jamming Christian music. And I'm not even calling myself a Christian. I just follow Jesus. I'm not with the religion. I'm not with the, all the... No, that's, yeah, that's for everybody else. I'm not with that. I'm with my personal relationship. Churches, I don't have to go to a church. That's a building. That people say is church. No, church is the people. Where two or three is gathered... I am in the midst. That's what Jesus said. So, we was having church in the parking lot while I changed the tire. I like having church. You want to have a, you want to interest me in a conversation? Talk to me about God and church and, and scripture. What, what most people would call boring. I'm fascinated with it. <laughs> oh, so, so funny how life has turned for me, like changed. You would have never thought I would be where I'm at right now. Not even five, five years ago. I was a truck driver listening to self-help books and uh, motivational stuff talking and um, other stuff. I listened to a lot of good stuff, but it wasn't the gospel. It wasn't going to save my life. It wasn't righteous because it's either right or wrong. See, a lot of people want to say well this isn't hurting it's, it's not hurting nobody it's not wrong but is it right is it righteous in God's eye hey I'm not the judge so it don't matter what I think or what I say it's what God say. So this is a, a opinionated piece right here. While I just read the Bible, I rarely do commentary. I think I might do a little bit of that sometime. I don't know. Whatever the Spirit leads me to do. I just try to do what the Spirit tells me to do. Like the Spirit led me to have one of these talks today. I just wanted to give God the glory. God is good. <laughs>